In other news today, there is still a lot of snow that needs to melt in the upper elevations of Utah's mountains. But the majority of stations that measure snowpack on the Wasatch Front have now lost more than a half of their water. As news specialist Jed Bull shows us, a meteorologist who specializes in mountain weather likes what he sees so far. During the last few weeks, we've seen flooding that caused damage to homes, property, and infrastructure. But a professor of atmospheric studies at the University of Utah tells me that the snowmelt runoff has gone pretty well, considering how deep the snowpack was just a couple of weeks ago. We're getting rid of the lower and mid-elevation snowpack, and I think, by and large, that's good news. Jim Steenberg, a.k.a. Professor Powder, pulled up graphs that show how much water is left in the snowpack and how that compares with other big snow years, like 1983 and 2011. Parley's summit at mid-elevation has less than 14 inches of snow water equivalent. Less snow on the ground than we did in the 2010-11 um, year, which is this green line I just put on and the 1983-1984 years. Less water still to come down for potential flooding than there was in those years. He estimates there's only 10 days of snowpack left at Parley's summit. Statewide, there's less water in the snowpack now than there was on other big years. Doesn't necessarily mean we're out of the woods yet, but we're not so far out on the limb as we were a couple of weeks ago. Above 9,000 feet, it's a different story. That snowpack at upper elevation still hasn't started to come off yet. There's still deep snow at Snowbird and elsewhere in the high mountains. In 2011, snowpack at Snowbird peaked in June, then dropped quickly. This year, Snowbird hasn't really started to melt big time yet, but they've lost, a, it's warmed a little bit, and um, we're kind of ahead of the, the curve compared to 1011. The weather over the next three to four weeks will be critical. The last couple of weeks have actually gone pretty well, the best we probably could have hoped hope for, given how deep the snowpack was. The cooler spring weather, punctuated by several warm-ups, has led to the drawn-out melt-off that meteorologists had hoped for so far. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.